Hey guys, we're back, Raul with R&D Moving Into Our Supplies. We're back for the next video. Uh, we showed you last time how to increase the size of the box and I promised to do a video on how to make the box a bit stronger, okay? And uh, so how do we do, it? What do, we do that? We do, I'm gonna use a, a used box, because again, we don't like to waste the new stuff. If we need to show you how to do it with a used box, it's a lot that we don't waste and it's all more friendly, uh, nature friendly. So we're going to use a, a box and a, uh, and some tape, okay? Not much to it. We showed you before how to stre strengthen the side of a box by simply inserting one side of the, of the other. But you don't always going to have the luxury of uh, having a box put inside of the other or not always going to be uh, shrinking a box. Um, I, which were the, the two steps we used for, for making it stronger. Uh, we explained before in the previous videos that there's two, two kinds of boxes. There's the, actually there's three. There's one that's the single, uh, single wall, there's one that's double wall, and there's one that's extra strong single wall. This is a regular uh, strength uh, single wall box, okay? So to do this, assume for example you're going to be shifting something in the box like this, okay? So you're at home, right? And you're going to tape your box. As mentioned before, you leave the bottom side is where the, the, the box label is, the box certificate. And we there you go, it down. Basically, let's say we tape the box, okay? That's the first step, we tape the box, okay? Then you lower the, uh, then you would put the tape, tape the top. So, Let's say you insert your stuff in and you want to stock with the, the box to get a little stronger. So what you do, let's say you, you pile it up and you're going to seal the top, okay? I'll tape it up. So I tape the top, okay? So bottom and top is taped. First thing you want to do is because again, when you carry the weight, the first part that suffers the most strength is the, the joint between the two flaps, okay? That gets pushed because uh, they naturally will come apart with weight, right? So the first thing to do, again, very simple. You take one run of tape, all the way, all the way across. Yes, all the way around, and all the way around, okay? So you now have tape all around. I'm going to show you something, okay? So you see what I'm talking about? Tape is very, very, very strong. And I'm a pretty big guy, but it's almost very hard to, it's almost impossible to break this thing. It's so strong. So when you add the couple layers of tape around, that's the first step. You make it extra strong. And you can put two layers, no problem. So now the flaps don't come apart. To make it even better, you do the following. The side, on the side here, another one on the side here. Again, I'm just adding extra strong to all the flaps, okay? And then the side here, same idea on this side here. So what am I doing? I'm giving each flap three, uh, each side of the box, three levels of tape, okay? I use the center to put a run all, all around, but you make, you can also put in a, 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 a run all, all throughout, on all three sides, okay? So now you have a very strong box. I'm not sure when, if you've been um, uh, traveled across country, uh, travel from country to country, and you're in the airport, and you notice these people have these luggages, and they have a rope around the, box, the, the luggage. I don't know if you've ever seen that. That's to give it extra strength. So when it drops between conveyor belts, it's not going to come apart. Again, a box, when a box travels around between conveyor belts as it's shipping along the, pro, the way, right, throughout the process, that happens too. Like the box can get beaten up. And, uh, and if the box is not strong enough, it comes apart. It's a really frustrating process for you to begin because you, you, you uh, are committing to, you committed to your, uh, to your customer to ship, them, uh, ship a product that gets to their side in perfect shape unbroken, undamaged, so that you, your, your customer service um, process is really strong, right? And this, of course, is always going to get great reviews and you get your customers to come back and buy more from you. So, but when it comes apart, it's frustrating for you because you lost money, 
you probably lost a customer, it's frustrating for the customer because it's upsetting when you order the product, you expect a nice book or whatever you order to get your site on, in good shape and you don't want to go through the process again of reordering it. It is frustrating and it's frustrating too for the people, the shipping people, because along the way, stuff comes apart and if you're the shipper, you're in, you work in the airport, whatever the product is traveling through and everything comes apart, you must not frustrating that is for you, for the company, for everything. So everybody suffers along the way. So to make the box as strong as like I said, you can use a single wall box, load it up with tape and that can also include doing tape sideways. Because everybody just tapes the tape the box in the same way, right? Put this over here. But you can also do some runs on the side as well, okay? Oops. The box runs on me. And again, another one. There we go. Wow. My, uh, my tape is sharp as, sharp as they come. And there we go. So there you go, you have a box that's strong this way and strong that way. Again, when you fill up a box, you're going to notice the box start wobbling on the side, it starts coming apart on the side, okay, it starts becoming kind of round. When you add these extra layers of tape all around, that strength, you notice how strong it was when I tried pulling it apart, you add in the strength, so when a box tries to come as a bubble, it won't be able to bubble through the sides. So everything is nice and tight in there, and the box does not come apart. So now you have a very strong box. Cost you a little more in tape, a little more work, but believe me, uh, it's a satisfying feeling when your customer on the other side gives you a five-star review and they're so happy with how the product got there. It's a satisfying uh, feeling for you because you now have a, collected all your money and you get to keep it. You didn't waste any more beyond the shipping process. And it's a satisfying feeling too for the shipper who hands the box to the customer in perfect shape. I like, I order a lot from Amazon and I tell you, I like getting my products in good condition. I love it. And uh, it's frustrating as heck to order a book that I really want to buy and gets to me and because the, the, uh, the shipper decided to only use a poly mailer, like it's almost like a thin bag of paper, a plastic, and everything is damaged. And it doesn't matter how many times you tell them and they don't, they don't listen. You put bad reviews and you add bad reviews and they still don't listen. So uh, this is a, a little secret, something very, very, and I'm probably, probably are aware of it. Uh, but it is a, a small thing you can do to your package just to make it extra strong, okay? And of course, it helps you go in your shipping business or whatever you're doing, or if you're shipping to family or anything, anybody. It's, it's just a satisfying feeling that you get things done properly and you don't waste your money by wasting your product along the way, okay? I hope this was helpful and um, uh, serves you well uh, if you're in the shipping business or if you're shipping products out. Um, and I think that's it. Any questions you may have, any suggestions, please post them below. Let us know about them. And we'll uh, improve on it or, or clarify it a little better for you. And also, if you're uh, new to the channel, by all means, uh, subscribe. And hope, we hope to uh, we post these videos pretty much once a week. We hope to uh, hit a few videos that will be helpful to you. And I think that's it. Thank you very much for uh, watching and look forward to seeing you in the future.